Radiation therapy is used to treat nearly every form of cancer. It may be used alone or with other types of treatments. Most people are treated with external beam therapy using a specialized machine. This machine uses modern technology to focus x-rays to the area of your body that needs radiation. To prepare you for your treatment, let us explain how the steps in the radiation process come together. The radiation clinic is located on the first floor of the main building next to the Blue Valet. When you arrive, please register at the front desk. A staff member will check your name and your birth date and place an identification band on your wrist. At this initial appointment, your radiation oncologist and nurse will discuss your health history and review your medical records, including imaging and pathology. The doctor will also perform a physical examination and discuss your treatment options. Before starting treatment, your doctor will explain the role of radiation therapy as well as the possible side effects that you may experience. You will then be asked to sign a consent form. This form gives your permission to start treatment. If you are eligible for a research study, members of the research staff will be available to meet with you at this time. The second appointment is your treatment planning session, which is also called a simulation. Simulation is not a radiation treatment. It is an important planning step needed before radiation can begin. Your doctor will use imaging studies like a CAT scan, PET scan, or x-rays to outline the parts of your body that need radiation. You will be informed if you need to do anything to prepare for this appointment. Your simulation may take up to an hour. A positioning or immobilization device will be made just for you. This device will be used for your daily radiation treatment. Please let the doctor or therapist know if this position is difficult for you because you will need to lie still during the entire procedure. Small permanent ink marks may be placed on your skin. These marks and the positioning device are used to ensure the accuracy of your daily treatment. Usually treatment does not start on the day of simulation. It may take five to 10 business days for your first treatment session due to the need for complex treatment planning. Radiation team members like the dosimetrist and the physicist use special software to assist your doctor in developing a safe and effective treatment plan. This type of planning helps minimize side effects from radiation. Every patient receives a customized treatment plan. Your plan is reviewed and approved by your doctor before you can begin treatment. Treatment. Radiation treatments are usually given five days a week, Monday through Friday. However, this can vary. Some treatments may be given twice a day. Your doctor will discuss your specific treatment schedule with you. Radiation is usually an outpatient treatment. Most people can drive themselves to their appointments. However, there are certain situations when a driver may be needed. Your doctor or nurse will let you know if a driver is recommended during your course of treatment. You will need to check in at the front desk before every treatment. A staff member will once again verify your name and birth date and place an identification band on your wrist. A radiation therapist or a volunteer will escort you to the treatment area. Due to federal privacy regulations, only patients are allowed in the treatment area but family members may wait in the waiting room. On your first day of radiation, a radiation therapist will show you the treatment room and they will review your schedule. You will then be assisted into your treatment position. Please let the radiation therapist know if you're having difficulty getting in or staying in your treatment position. The table may be a little uncomfortable, but it is important to lie still. After you are in the exact treatment position, the therapist will leave the room.
Cameras are in the room so the therapist can monitor you from the outside. An intercom system is also in place so you and the therapist are able to communicate during the treatment session. An x-ray or port film will be taken once you are in your treatment position. A port film is an x-ray picture of the area that is being treated. Port films will be taken every week during your treatment. These films are only taken to verify that you are in the correct treatment position. Treatment times can range from 10 to 45 minutes, depending on your treatment plan. Appointment times usually remain on schedule. However, delays may occur due to emergencies or machine checks. You'll be notified promptly if your treatment will need to be delayed. Please tell your radiation therapist in advance if you need to make any changes in your radiation schedule. During treatment. Your doctor and nurse will meet with you once a week after your radiation treatment. This required visit is called an on-treatment visit, or OTV. Your doctor or nurse will let you know which day of the week will be your OTV day. During this visit, your doctor or nurse will see how you're doing. They will help you manage any treatment-related side effects. If you have any questions or concerns, please let a staff member know so we can address them in a timely manner. A dietitian and social worker are also on the treatment team and they will be available during your course of treatment. The social worker can assist with hotel arrangements or discuss the option of staying at the American Cancer Society's Hope Lodge, which is located on the Moffitt campus. Thank you for taking the time to review this information. We hope that this video has helped you to understand the process of receiving radiation here at Moffitt Cancer Center.